Hello, Lindsay here. Today is Thursday, July 11th. I am vlogging again this weekend because we have another three day event, Kent Cornucopia. I've never heard about it and I, I don't know what it is, so I wanted to vlog it just because it's so new. Um, it's a three day event here in Kent, Washington and it's outdoor. I believe it is part of Seafair. So if you're from Washington or at least like the Western Washington, Seattle area, you know what Seafair is and what that's all about. And it's usually during the summertime and it involves like, a lot of events happening around the summertime and yeah this is like, apparently another seafair event so um i've never done it i'm excited not really i don't know i'm <laughs> really exhausted i'm editing the ax vlog right now um but the interesting thing about this event it is a three-day event it's outdoors um in the summertime if you're not familiar with washington weather and stuff the sun doesn't set till like 9 10 o'clock so for this event, they are allowing us to go tonight after 9 p.m. to set up if we wanted to. Um, if not, then you would come tomorrow morning. I have to double check what the time stipulation is for the setup tomorrow morning. But um, I think the plan is to go tonight to drop off the tent and the tables and what other like other miscellaneous setup things um that are like large and bulky um just so that there's more room in the car for product um tomorrow tonight so that's the plan to drop that off tonight the tent weights and stuff like that um and then tomorrow morning do the rest now the biggest problem is because i'm coming off of ax um and i ship a pallet to and from ax when i was packing the pallet I told myself, okay, bring a suitcase to put stuff that you need for this weekend in case the pallet doesn't come on time. And in the process of packing the pallet, I was so exhausted and so tired from AX that I was just like, screw it, put it all on the pallet. I don't want to carry it home. It'll, you know, it's going to go home. So my tablecloth, all of my grid panels, um, my mirror, all of my display stuff, like my display Crocs, everything is all on that pallet. And if I'm correct, and if Shepard is correct in what they're quoting me, my palette is not slated to arrive until tomorrow. So, yeah, that means I'm going to go at least Friday without my usual setup of stuff. I won't have my flag. I won't have my banner. I just won't have anything. Um, and it's going to be a very bare bones setup. So I'm going to scrounge around my garage because I have a lot of display things from just over the years of collecting display items and I'm going to try to put together a display that works for this weekend um, but I won't really know until I am there on Friday setting up and doing the thing. Um, I also have to grab product because I have a lot of product here obviously. I only send a certain amount of product to shows so I have all of the product here. It's just that I have to now pull inventory for another batch of show product, which kind of sucks uh, when it comes down to the inventory part of everything, but it is what it is. I'm really hoping that the palette does come tomorrow because after the event is done tomorrow and I come back home, I'm gonna break the palette down and grab the stuff that I need um, and take it on Saturday. I'm trying to avoid having to do a full setup overhaul on Saturday and just bringing stuff to enhance the setup so bringing stuff like my flag because it is saturday tomorrow's friday so i don't anticipate like it being crazy but saturday i want to at least have stuff um you know bringing the crocs to display the croc charms on um stuff like that and yeah so that's the plan i'm gonna finish editing this vlog and then i'm gonna start like gathering everything for kent cornucopia this week um but it'll be interesting so I will tap you guys later. I don't know about later tonight or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. We did it. Of course. It is Friday. We are setting up for Kent Cornucopia. I have Erica here. And I want to show you guys what we're looking at. We are no longer single splute. I want to introduce you to bear splute because... <laughs> All we have is a four foot table <laughs> and these panels. <laughs> so we're gonna have a very empty booth, but it's okay. It's okay. It'll be, it'll be okay. Very nice, um, you know. Yay. Okay, we're gonna go move my car now.
So some info about this event. It is put on by the Kent Lions Club, which if you are, um, I forget what's the, what it's called. Um, in high school I was in Key Club and that was part of Kiwani's Lions Leo Club, I think, or something like that in high school. They're the ones who put on this event as a part of Seafair. Um, I ended up parking on the street. It says it's two hours only, but we'll see how it goes. It's a pretty big event in terms of uh, footprint. So there is a lot of vendors um, all set up just like everywhere. Um, it's about three streets long. There's markings on the ground for numbers that are indicated by these little, these things. Um, so the situation is that um, everything that's normally for my display is all on a pallet uh, from AX. So we're having to make do with what we have. And I have these clip things these things that are meant to hold their like tents and bungee cords. I'm gonna use this reusable zip tie and zip tie it to this grid wall like this. I don't even have a mirror for people to try shit on. This is my downfall. This this is your downfall. This this is this the moment end. right here. Industrial girls. I wanna introduce you guys to industrial core. <laughs> Exposed zip ties and everything. Looks great. <laughs> Looks great. I also picked up these tiered shells from Target, which really came in clutch, so. So it is 9.55. We're gonna go move our car over to Kent Station. We parked on the street over that way, but we're gonna go move it. But you can see how far down it goes, and then it goes like left and right as well. And the event's supposed to start at 10 a.m. So I parked over at Kent Station, which is right across the street, basically from the fair. So it's super close. Um, it's not too far from where we are. It's about an extra block. Um, not horrible so we're gonna make our way over you can see here in the park they have a whole bunch of other booths and activations as well all kinds of sellers what do you would normally find at a street fair the same in grace here so the weather is really nice there's also a park there's a park right over here that has a whole bunch of food vendors as well and it goes down that way. We are one more street over. All right, here's a look at the grand booth. Um, I think we did pretty good with what I have, which is nothing. Um, I am using my new six foot banner sign, which this is actually for my indoor tables. So I used it at Japan Fair, um, but we have some extra grid walls. So we have their stickers, of course. You have our helper, Erica. Hi, Erica. Um, reusable bags, coin purses, plushies, crock charms, air fresheners, towels, bags, and hats. Very easy. We're keeping it real slim. <laughs> and then we also have fans because it's hot. So, yay. Yay. At least the weather is nice. Could be raining. Um, and of course, the biggest information that's missing, where to park. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. Seven and a half more hours. Half more hours to go. Oh. We're gonna quickly go run and say hi to our friends right next door. <laughs> Hello. Do you want to be in my vlog? Sure. Here we have Han. Her brand is Sweetie. Everybody check her out. She has super cute stuff. And here's mom. Mama hun. <laughs> Update. Just found out that my pallet has arrived to Washington, but will not be going to my house today because they don't have enough trucks. So it's going to be coming on Monday, which means this is a setup we are running with all weekend long. It is very hot. Yay. 
I just saw our friends at Biscuit Sleuth post on Instagram that they're giving out photo cards, so we're gonna go get photo cards. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go. That was a good one. I feel like I got so lucky. Yay! Two for one. Look what I got! This is their babies. It's so cute. Yee! So excited. I got them onto doing this. I'm gonna get everybody to do photo cards. And this is how much I'm sweating. I started doing photo cards with Emmy last year. So I'm telling everybody to do photo cards. <laughs> everybody should do it. So we can all trade. On the back of mine, I have my business information. So they put theirs as well. Super smart if you're doing photo cards. I know like for K-pop photo cards, usually the back is like the album or whatever um, related to the release of the photo cards. But for us businesses, use it as a marketing expense. Back of the booth. There Look at my photo card! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That's their babies. Ginger and Tara. It's so high. Wrapping up for the day. Finished up day one. Um, it's not quite eight yet, but it's almost eight. But most people are just kind of already packing up for the night. So we're gonna do the same. All right, all packed up. Goodbye tent. We will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is day two. We have Emmy with us. Also, I have my partner here. The booth is all set up. It's a miracle. And I think this is only possible because we don't have a lot of stuff with us. Um, just to recap, my palette. Palette was supposed to come yesterday, and they did get to Seattle yesterday, but they can't deliver it till Monday. So that's where we are. This is what we got. Hopefully, today is a good day. Her is supposed to be busy, but we'll see. Emmy hates the camera. Emmy, huh? <gasps> Is that Emmy Corgi? Oh my god! Emmy Corgi! That's how I feel right now. It's so freaking hot. Heading out for the day. It's very long. Day three, I am here by myself with my wagon. So today's a parade, so there's a lot of road closures. Um, staying very hopeful that today will be a lot better than tomorrow, or yesterday. Ah, the heat is getting to me. Apparently yesterday was like in the 90s. There are so many vendors here that you would think this would be a very popular show. Now, I don't know if it's because of the weather. That's why nobody's showing up, but <sighs> unfortunate. So this is a look inside of my booth um, before the show. As you can see, I kind of condense everything um, and I usually wrap it up and I make it very inconvenient. Um, but I take down product. I really only leave up the stickers, so. We're gonna put everything back together. We did take home a lot of the inventory of the other products just because they weren't really selling. So we're just gonna really focus and hone in on these and hopefully this will carry us for the rest of the day. I'm gonna move our sticker wall back to this side. Um, it used to be on this side, but I'm gonna move it on this side just because of the wind so that we can just really just leave this open. Um, I'm actually thinking of taking down that wall as well since um, it's pretty much the last day, so we're gonna do that. 
mentioned this before, but I am by myself this morning, so yay! So because today's the last day, I took down all the side walls. Kept this up so that people who walk behind us don't grab our stuff. But yay! So I was bear splute, and now I'm even more bear splute because I took all half of the inventory that was all hanging on the side and the towels um, so it's very very empty um, they just weren't moving and weren't selling so I took home the inventory just to give myself an easier time but I still have a lot of other cool stuff that people can get crop charms plushies coin purses bags air fresheners stickers and magnets so everybody is saying that today is gonna be the busier day of the three days just because there is the parade which is um, I'm kind of close to where the parade is supposed to be, so hopefully that means there will be a lot of people walking to and from the parade, but we'll see. It is hot already. It's like 10 a.m. It's already like, I think, 76 like degrees, which might not seem hot to you guys, but in Washington it's very hot. That's very hot. And like, it's clear skies. There's not a single cloud. Um, the breeze is very light right now, but I anticipate it picking up again because that's what happened the last couple days. So, here's to another day. -day. So yesterday I didn't vlog as much because it was so dang hot. It got into like the low 90s, I think, like 90, 92, around there. Um, and my booth is a corner booth, so I had full frontal sun. Um, and it was very painful, very hot. We do have fans, like I have a lot of different fans. Um, and I have a bigger one down here, but like, it was just so hot and it was very windy, but... <laughs> I, the wind was picking up my tent to fly away more than it was really cooling me down, so... Good job, team! to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i wasn't sure if i was going to post this vlog but i figured i already filmed it already edited it might as well just post it um it is several months late but better later than never right uh would i do kent cornucopia again i'm not too sure maybe if i have nothing else to do um the area is really nice as in like it's right near where i live so it's not hard for me to get to and from uh there's also free parking at the parking garage uh, you know, it's it's three days. It's relatively affordable for three days. So things to consider. Um, I think what's turning me off the most is the heat. It was really, 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 really hot that weekend. Like of all weekends, it had to be that weekend. So I don't know. That's the only thing. But other than that, I mean, it was all right. And I think the heat really affected the foot traffic I think if it wasn't as hot and it was like the usual Washington summer weather then I think there would have been a lot more people but we'll see it is summer summertime in Washington if you've never been here it is a hot hot time hot as in like a lot of events hot not hot as in temperature although it was hot but you get the idea uh, it's a really busy time for events so there's a lot of events happening in Washington during the summer like we're talking five to ten events a week all across Washington so attendee spread is going to be thin um people can only go to so many events in a day I mean I, I get tired after being at one event in a day so you can imagine attendees and people who are trying to go to different events um so yeah just something to consider if you are a vendor in the Washington area and you're looking for events to try maybe try this one I don't really know um it really depends on you um but yeah thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't checked out my monthly sticker club over on patreon i think this video is going up for october so you can still join my october monthly sticker club this is this month's rewards uh you'll get a sticker sheet and a sticker actually i can just show you because i am in the middle of packing rewards uh for september because we're just a little late um but october's is here you'll get a sticker sheet and a sticker Super cute, Halloween themed as voted by um, our patrons, our, our members of our sticker club. So if you do join, you get to vote on the themes or let me know what kind of theme you like to see for the next month and stuff. Um, 
But yeah, be sure to check that out. If not, you can follow me on Instagram. That's where I post pretty much all of my updates and everything. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!